Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We are in the uh, Occult Adventures book today for Pathfinder. Um, we are looking at uh, the War Magic spells. We're continuing that uh, spell series for uh, my channel. We're looking at spells, in this case we're looking at first level spells, zero and first level spells. And we're going to go over what uses they have in a battlefield or if you can manipulate them by putting them into like one use items and using them on a battlefield if they'll give you any advantage if they can help in any way um because you're looking at traditional medieval battlefields where shield and spear walls uh arch a group of archers in the back a group of cavalry charging in stuff like that uh, or you're looking at besieging a city or a castle or you're looking at naval warfare. So a lot of these could be taken with a little bit of imagination to a lot of extremes that could give you a lot of advantage if the enemy is not doing the same. That said, if you're running a game, if the players start using utilizing these, do the same back to them after a few of the enemies have escaped and have learned that, hey, that they're doing this weird stuff with this stuff. Is there anything we can do with our spellcasters that the uh, government controls? But uh, unlike the other videos in this series, this one's going to concentrate only on uh, psychic uh, classes. We got the medium, the mesmerist, the occultist, and the uh, the psychic. I'm only going to look at the zero to first level spells this time around. Anytime they repeat in one of those class lists, I'll uh, just read the name and skip it. So that way I'm not get, eating up a lot of time just going over the same way I'd use it the same way. It could be interesting or not interesting, so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's dive into the medium spells. Um, zero level medium spells detect psychic significance, finds uh, psychically charged items. That won't be useful in a battlefield unless your enemy is using psychic stuff and then you're trying to infiltrate their area and find it. And even so, that would only be useful to your players that are trying to do that, not your war machine, your, your battle. Uh, grave words forces a corpse to babble. As creepy as that is, that could really affect the mentality of an enemy, but I don't see that being very useful in a battlefield. And zero level spells aren't meant to be, so it's understandable. First level medium spells. Burst of Insight. Gain plus eight to Intelligence, Wisdom, or Charisma for one roll, then be dazed for one round. That's just a cool mental image. Solves the thing and then mind goes blank for a second. <laughs> Face glasses over. Um, the That wouldn't help you in a battlefield. Now, if you needed uh, advantage on making a battle plan or something, I could see using that. And in, in that case, you could put it on a scroll or a potion. Uh, calm Spirit. Postpone hostile action by a haunt or incorporal undead. If you're traveling through an area where there's an active haunt or incorporal undead, I can see you casting that or using a one-use item and getting your troops through it and allowing the enemy to deal with it. That can be very useful. Charge object, infuse psychic energy and ownership history into an item. Um, that one won't be as useful. Descript disguise, makes an object seem worthless. Mind link, communicates a great deal of information in an instant. That's very useful. Your scout comes back and you can cast mind link with them. You can learn everything they have to say in an instant instead of waiting for a detailed full report. Object reading, read psychic impressions left on an object. That'd be good for your strike force, trying to track somebody or trying to understand what's going on with uh, what's been used in the area. Oniric horror, distract and fatigue the target with a creature from its nightmare. The only problem with this spell is it's a single target. If you can make this affect a group of people by like third level or so, uh, then you would have an advantage in the battlefield because not one person's affected, a group of people are affected. So section of the, the uh, wall 
section of the military formation would crumble and the rest would have to try to fill that in and that creates a weak point for your military to try to smash through. Paranoia. Target becomes hostile to all creatures. That can be useful. You get, just for easy reference, slings cost zero. Sling uh, rocks from the river cost zero. But this would cost a little bit of money to put on a uh, sling stone. Put uh, paranoia on sling stones and have the target that's hit by it have to make a save versus the paranoia, spe paranoia spell. And then have your second, third, fourth row in the shield wall, doesn't matter which, just have one of those rows armed with this, and they can launch stones over the, the main wall formation, and then that paranoia would cause them to attack everyone around them. Uh, psychic reading, read the surface thoughts to learn information about a subject. That won't be as useful in an ongoing battle, but before a battle begins, that could be useful. If you were sneaking into the enemy's stronghold, that could be useful, especially if the enemy is doing their battle plans. Uh, quintuset, quintessence masks any flaws of or damage to a creature or object. The best use of that is as a trap. Uh, say the drawbridge, uh, the enemy knows the drawbridge can't be pulled up but you've cast this on the drawbridge because in sections of the wood, it is very either damaged or rotten or you've pre-damaged it, so you're hiding the damage and they could step on that and collapse into the uh, moat below. That's the end of the medium spells for first level. The mesmerist spells. The zero level starts with the detect psychic significance and then it jumps into first level spells. Burst of Adrenaline, gain a plus four, eight, uh, gain a plus eight to strength, dex, or con for one roll, and then be fatigued for one round. That can be useful if you needed to get somewhere or navigate something. Say the Barbarian needs to bend the bars or he needs to pull a door off a hinge or break a door down. That could be useful to cast on him and give him the plus eight strength or he needs to hold his breath for a long time giving that bonus to Khan and when he makes his one roll to hold his breath that would aid him a lot burst of insight gain a plus eight bonus to your intelligence wisdom charisma um so the adrenaline thing because you're fatigued for one round wouldn't be great but it is useful the insight's not as useful for combat, uh, warfare combat. Charge object, uh, decrepit disguise, makes an object seem worthless, yep. Deja vu, makes a creature repeat its actions. So uh, say a creature dropped his weapon, cast deja vu, he drops his weapon. Or a, key, a creature walks up and uh, uh, trips, maybe you cast it on him so he walks up and trips again. Demand offering. Make a creature give you an object it's holding. That, that wouldn't be as useful in a military fight, but that could be useful for your strike force going in. And they corner somebody that has something that would be far easier to cast this on them than it was to be to open fight them. I can see that being very useful. Mental block. Prevent the target from using its skill ranks, spells, feats, and abilities. You need to throw that on a bunch of sling stones and target the spellcasters. That would be very useful. Mind link. Communicate a great deal of information in an instant. Oh, back to the mental block. I would also put that on arrowheads, crossbow, bolts, whatever your main archery force is. Give them a few of those to target the enemy spellcasters as well as your strike force, your PCs more or less. Give that to them. Uh, mind link, communicate a great deal of information. Yep. Paranoia, target becomes hostile to all creatures. I already discussed that. Psychic reading, resurface thoughts. Yep. Quintessence, telepathic projection, alters the target's attitude or give it bonuses to those interacting with the target. That'd be great if you're talking to somebody to get information. Thought Echo replaces surface thoughts with a mental echo. 
that is a good distraction thing, but it's a single target, so you'd have to have a way to do that with uh, one-use items. Let's look at occult spells next, because that ends the first level spells for the Mesmerist. So occult spells, zero level. Detect psychic significance, grave words, telekinetic projectile, telekinetically hurl an object, dealing 1d6 points of damage to the target and object. That could be very useful. And since it's a zero level spell, you can cast it every turn, at least in the rules of Pathfinder. If you were running third edition D&D, &D, you still had limited uh, abilities to cast zero level spells. It was a lot, but it wasn't like endless. But I could see you dropping a bag of like river stones down and using telekinetic projectile to throw the river stones at people until you're out of ammo or until your life's threatened. First level occult spells, charge object, decrepit disguise, mind link, object reading, psychic reading, quintessence. So everything we've already discussed, if that's the case next time I go through this, then we'll skip the occult spell list from that point forward. We're on the psychic spells. Uh, the zero level spells are the same as the occultists, so telekinetic projectile would be pretty good. First level psychic spells, burst of adrenaline, burst of insight, charge object, decrepit disguise, deja vu, mind thrust one, mentally deal 1d6 points of damage per level. That is a single target, so it's not as great, but if you could put that on ammunition, uh, slings, arrows, bullets, you could get extra damage out of it for a small cost in comparative to a weapon that's designed to do it nonstop. Mind link, psychic reading, quintessence, telepathic projectile, well, no, telepathic projection, sorry, thought echo. So that's all the uh, occult spells for zero to first level. Uh, the next video in this series will be the second level spells. So look forward to that in the future. Until we all game again, guys.